I first met Elisa uh, in Utah. She was a part of an internship called Eagle Forum, and, uh, and I was a part of the internship, and so I was able to meet her. First impression was, dang, he is cute. She was just super bubbly, super energetic, uh, total social butterfly. I tried to ask her out in a couple different ways. He and I were actually just hanging out at the intern desk and he turns to me and says something about, like, we're hosting a dance party here pretty soon, you know, do you want to come dancing with me? And I was just like, finally? <laughs> we made a cutoff time of two hours because neither of us wanted to be stuck with this other person if it turned out awkward. And I think I stayed for like five hours. It was awesome. We uh, were able to just spend some time afterward together and, and watch what we, uh, spoken word videos and just were really clicked right off the bat. By the end of that day, he's just like, hey, you want to go out again? And I was like, sure. And he's like, how about tomorrow? And the next thing you know, uh, we just have been inseparable ever since. I first knew that Elisa was the one, uh, kind of an interesting moment. Uh, we were just driving around uh, Salt Lake City. You know, we'd probably known each other for maybe a year and a half at that point. And I just knew that she was the one that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. I think when I knew, it was not really a sudden thing, it was just kind of something that grew on me and then one day it was just this feeling of this is what it feels like to love someone more than yourself. I knew that I wanted to, to tie the knot with Elisa and uh, we had a, a trip coming up to visit her family before about a week before Christmas. He took me to the place where we essentially kind of fell for each other at the Utah State Capitol and um, he played this really sweet romantic song on a guitar and then got on one knee and proposed on the Capitol steps and I mean I already knew I was gonna say yes but when the moment actually came I kind of just it was very emotional and it was just it was the most amazing moment. Uh, definitely something that I've learned from Elisa. She's, uh, she's really great at telling me maybe when I'm not right all the time like I think I am uh, and so I've really really learned uh, absolutely trusting her with, with everything and with every part of me and so it's definitely been a great learning experience. I feel like one of the things that Keegan has taught me is just how to be kind, how to be softer and to not be quite so abrasive or so blunt about um, what I'm feeling in the moment. Elise is not short on quirks. She loves her bumper stickers and so she'll, uh, she'll rock her political bumper stickers. Uh, as many as she can fit on her car, uh, the better. Oh my gosh, where do I start? <laughs> Keegan likes to talk to himself a lot, especially in the mirror, especially when he's doing his hair. He has these very long conversations with himself. It's really, really entertaining, but he's, he's a little quirky that way. I would say something I love most about Elisa would be her strength. She is so strong and so she's so passionate about whatever she's doing. I love his, his passion and fire for life, honestly. I love the way he is with kids. He is so sweet, he just gets right on their, their level and it just, makes me stop and be like, man, I'm really lucky. For the majority of our relationship, we were living in two completely different places. I was in Florida and she was in Utah. We made it work, but it was really, really tough. And we had to be really creative and really work on our communication skills. But I am so, so glad that we stuck out and then and made it work. long distance. I just want to spend every day with you Keegan and I never want to have to say goodbye. I'm so excited just to spend every single day with you and to wake up in the morning and see you and that is what I'm looking forward to You most. stole mine. That's what I was going to say is waking up next Stop to your beautiful it. face every morning. <laughs> Steel wedding June 17th. I'll see you there Keegan Steel. I'll see you there. I better see you there. <laughs> yeah, okay.